Uh, welcome to our channel Fakrut Academy Physics. Today I would like to discuss a previous year problem uh, which is based on real depth and apparent depth. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Let us go ahead now. Uh, first of all let me discuss what is the concept behind real depth and apparent depth. So here if a coin is kept uh, inside the water in a beaker and if you are going to see from here if you are from here uh, you will see one thing that the coin appears to be a little bit raised the coin appears to be a little bit raised this is the concept of real depth and apparent depth and the raising of a coin is just because of refractive index okay so let me uh, prove what is the concept behind this so the coin appears to be a little bit raised and uh, a man when he sees the light ray bends towards the normal when a light ray is coming from rarer to denser it bends towards the normal it is bending towards the normal this is angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction okay so now these two are called as alternate interior angles alternate interior angles and these two are called as corresponding angles corresponding angles because these two lines are parallel they are called as corresponding angles these two are alternate interior angles according to uh, geometry they are going to be same then uh, for example let me discuss the concept here now here refractive index is nothing but sin i by sin r according to snell's law but for small angles sin theta is approximately equal to tan theta is approximately equal to theta why is it so let me discuss here for example this is a very very small angle theta okay so this is a b and c here a b will be approximately equal to b c i mean a c for small right angle triangles you can observe that for a steeper angles a b and b c will be almost same therefore sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side that is a b this is opposite side this is adjacent side as a b is equal to a c that means denominators are same numerators are already same if denominators are also going to be same then it is understood that sin theta and tan theta are same so therefore sin theta is approximately equal to tan theta because for small angles adjacent side and hypotenuse will be almost 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 same so therefore instead of sin i by sin r you can write mu is equal to tan i by tan r okay so what is tan i tan i means you can write tan i means you can write i will write here now mu is equal to tan i by tan r which is nothing but a b opposite side uh, by adjacent side this adjacent side let us take it as h dash here real depth is h and apparent depth is considered as h dash here now a b divided by opposite side a b uh, divided by h dash and uh, tan r is nothing but opposite side is a b this is opposite side and adjacent side is taken as h here a b a b gets cancelled mu is equal to h by h dash which is nothing but real depth by apparent depth here okay so this is the concept of behind the problem which i am going to solve this is a cuboid cuboid shape glass slab uh, there is a small bubble inside there is a small bubble inside and uh, from this side if you see a person is seeing from this side this bubble appears to be a little bit closer that is 5 centimeters and this is called as apparent depth from this side if a man sees from this side here he is seeing from this side the bubble which appears to be here is appearing to be a little bit closer just like coin appears to be a little bit raised it appears to be a little bit closer and this is taken as this is also taken as apparent depth whereas uh, the actual distance uh, actual position of the bubble inside the glass lab is x from this side 
and is L minus X from that side and this is real depth and this is also real depth from this side as well as that side now let me solve this problem he is asking at the, uh, he is asking in this problem if the bubble appears to be 5 cm from this side and 3 cm from that side then what is the length of this glass slab he is asking us to. and also it is given that refractive index is 1.5 which is taken as 3 by 2 okay so now therefore uh, real depth by apparent depth from this side that is the first case this is first and this is second let us imagine from that side so refractive index is real depth which is taken as x and apparent depth is 5 and the same refractive index from that side if you observe it is real depth is l minus x I mean apparent depth is taken as 3 both refractive index are same because mu is same for all so real depth by apparent depth is x by 5 from this side and l minus x by 3 from that side so both are same and refractive index uh, if you observe it is taken as 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 is equal to x by 5 if you consider x is equal to uh, 5 3 is of 15 by 2 which is nothing but 7.5 okay 7.5 we got the value of x and refractive index that is mu is equal to l minus x by 3 which is equal to 3 by 2 okay uh, 3 by 2 or you can cons uh, you can write directly 1.5 okay so therefore uh, l minus x which is 7.5 15 threes of 45 that is 4.5 l is equal to 4.5 plus 3.5 okay it is going to be 12 centimeters this is the length of your glass slab this is a previous year problem thank you very much have a nice day if you like this video uh, you please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below in which topic you want the video thank you very much have a nice day baby